There's a big warning uh, this morning. Officials across the country, they are on high alert, trying to cut into a booming mosquito population could be carrying serious viruses, over a dozen cases of West Nile virus, and at least three cases of a rare but potentially deadly disease known as triple E have been reported across the Northeast. It's got communities sounding the alarm to try and prevent those illnesses from spreading. So Nick, what's the latest on this? What's got officials so worried here? What has them so worried is that they don't want this disease to spread that is primarily spread through mosquitoes. And we're talking about this born illness because states as far away west as Nebraska have reported this summer their mosquito populations have exploded. Get this, 216 cases of the West Nile virus across the U.S. with at least 18 in the Northeast alone have been reported by the CDC. This is the same disease that Dr. Anthony Fauci was hospitalized for last week. Health experts warned that the virus comes with a list of symptoms. And it can cause meningitis, which is the symptoms are fever, severe headache, uh, trouble focusing. And it can cause also encephalitis, which is even more severe, which is fever, confusion, acting abnormally. It can also call, cause myelitis, which is an infection of the spinal cord, which can cause paralysis. Now, mosquito bites have also been linked to at least three cases of Eastern equine encephalitis, or that triple E that we talked about. That is a rare but deadly disease that could cause brain inflammation. The CDC says there's no known vaccine or treatment for triple E, which kills about 30% of the people who become infected. Brooke Health experts say a rainy summer, as well as hot conditions, has made some parts of the U.S. a breeding ground, which yeah. is why they need people to cover up and try to stay in uh, between the hours from dusk till dawn. Yeah, an important warning yes. there. Okay, Nick Smith, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.